Hey guys, it's Renee and I'm here to share a couple of design team projects for my style stamps with you. Um, you can find all of the stamps at mystylestamps.com and I will put a link to it down below. And there are tons of great stamps there to create pretty much anything you want. So the stamp set that I use today is Autumn Greetings and I used it to create two Valentine cards. So, um, you know, don't put your stamps away. You can use them for other holidays. So here is the stamp set. And I actually didn't use it during fall like I would have liked to, but um, so I pulled it out now. So the stamp that I used out of this set were the two little nuts. And I think they are so cute. So, um... For my first card, I used um, this Archival Brilliance ink in pearlescent chocolate. This Recollections, uh, there's no name on it. It's the wood grain um, Valentine stamp. I used this Studio G fall stamp, and I used the Falling for You sentiment. Then I used this American Crafts Red Twine, this EK Tools Banner Punch, and I used my Copics. And I'll put a list to them down below of what I used, because I used the same colors on both. But here is my first card, and I just love it. I think it's so cute. I love the little nuts. And um, because this background stamp is an odd size. My card is smaller, but it is um, four and a quarter tall by about two and a quarter wide. Um, and I stamped the background in the pearlescent chocolate ink, which mm, it might be a little pearlescent not a ton though. Not as much as I would have liked. Um, I cut the banner out of just some red card stock that I had and stamped the Falling For You in some black ink, probably Versafine, Onyx Black. Um, I stamped out the nuts in um, Memento Tuxedo Black ink and colored them with my Copics and gave them little pink cheeks and then I rounded the corners, the bottom corners, with my corner chomper and just ran some red twine. I went around there twice and tied a little bow. And the banner is on some foam squares, the ones that aren't, that are like half as thick as regular ones. And then the nuts are up on some regular thick foam tape. So I think they are really cute and I used two false stamps for um, actually both my cards, but um, the idea with this one was that this was actually a tree and they fell from the tree, so falling for you. So I thought that was pretty cute. Now my second one, I used this Fisker's Edge Punch, and it's a scallopy edge. Um, I used paper from the Bow Bunny Head Over Heels collection, and I used this um, white with the black hearts. I used this Recollections Cherry Glitter Glue, and this Studio G stamp set, and I used the Totally Nuts For You sentiment. So here is my second card. And um, it's a I think it's a normal size. Um, it's four and a half by five and a half. And I just used a, a white card base, put the red um, uh, sorry, the red card stock over it, and I went top to bottom with the red, and then I think I probably cut it an eighth of an inch short, so I would get the white sides. Then I 
Um, just stamp the nuts on the bottom, and these ones are lighter than the first ones. And I colored them again with the Copics, and um, used the three tiny hearts that are right here, and just filled those in with the red glitter glue, and stamped the Totally Nuts For You, and then I used the edge punch to cut the scalloped edge and just um, <clears throat> taped it to this the side of the white and then I popped the whole thing up with some foam tape to give it some dimension so I think it is super cute um, I really enjoyed using the nuts they were a lot of fun and I think they're just really really adorable so um, those are my projects. I will put a link to the My Style Stamps website down below where you can find all of the stamps. Again, this is the Autumn Greeting stamp set. And I will also put a list of the Copics that I used. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.